Hello everyone, this is Jake with the final update on my Bing Blast Nova build with Aero and Ariars. <coughs> For the build presentation, it is capping the dummy in no time, basically. W once you get stacked, like this, you can just cap the dummy in under one second. So, yeah, the build is very tanky and very strong. <coughs> I won't be showing you a gameplay because you can check the gameplay in the previous videos. So, if you want to see how the build plays, you have to check those videos. I will show you my final item choices, my skill tree. Uh, hero traits and talent tree and then I will show you some budget options because what I have are pretty much luxury items not needed for the build to function but needed if you want to get as tanky and get as much damage as I have but definitely not needed to for the build to be playable so if you want to see gameplay of lower budget options you can check the previous videos, I, I think it was in second part, in the tier 8 mapping and leveling. So that's the budget gear there and this is final final build in the leaderboard. I'm first in the damage here. I mean, Wing is not the one that will have the most damage, I think there are other classes that can make even higher numbers here, but those numbers does not matter as long as you're able to clear the content. Okay, let's get into the gear. So, I'm using, for the two unique pieces, I'm using the main source of your damage, is Bow of Endless Dusk, and you want to get the this mod uh, corrupted for, to 200% physical damage as fire, cold and lightning, which basically makes your build deal elemental damage instead of physical. Even when you are uh, scaling physical damage on your gear and passive tree. So as you can see here, majority of the damage is dealt through fire, cold and lightning. And that is mainly because of the bow and one other mod on other piece equipment. So yeah, bow of, bow of Endless Dusk with physical damage as fire, cold and lightning. And the second unique piece would be Imperial Might. This is the luxury piece. You don't need this, but it gives the build a lot of survivability and considerable amount of damage when you get plus 2% aura effect here. <coughs> so yeah, any mod corrupted here uh, affecting defense or the sealed mana is great. Sealed mana and aura effect will give you more damage. The defense mods will obviously give you more defenses. <coughs> so yeah, if you want a budget option instead of the Imperial Might, you can use... Uh, you can use Corrupted bul Bulwark, something like this which gives you a lot of energy shield and even energy shield charge speed when your energy shield gets lower. <coughs> this version corrupted like this, I have no idea how much that could cost, but even the base version will put you at around 12k ES easily, so yeah. Or 8k, 8k is enough to survive in tier 8 maps. So <coughs> this corrupted bulwark with energy shield. Okay, so that's the budget option for the armor. There's no budget option for the endless dusk. That, that's your main source of damage and you definitely want to get that. Even the base version would be enough. Early on the bow costs a lot, but later on in the season as you can see the price drops fast. I was buying the bow for around 2k, 2.8 maybe, almost 3k, but the base version at that 
time it was around 1.2k, so yeah. Even the base version with only 150% physical damage as Fire, Cold and Lightning is great increase in your DPS. Okay, uh, for the rare pieces, because the Imperial Might scales uh, defense, which is armor, evasion and energy shield, you want to get armor piece, at least one armor piece. So this is my helmet, armor piece with armor. And only this single piece of armor gear puts me to <coughs> puts me to 62% physical damage reduction just from the one piece. If you pair that with frost shield, that puts you to the cap of 80% easily. I'm not using evasion piece, but if you would be willing to like uh, get rid of a little bit of energy shield to go to around I, I don't know maybe 12k you could even scale uh, very high amounts of evasion if you took evasion gloves or evasion boots uh, yeah so armor piece at least one of them mine is helmet because it even has percent armor on the base and the main stats here would be <coughs> support skill level, shield mana, and aura effect. The tier 1 armor is great. If you cannot get that, get whatever armor roll you can get. Like, the more you get, the more survivability you will get against physical damage hits. Which is probably the most of build problems with survivability comes from physical damage reduction so this helps you a lot so support skill sealed mana aura effect <coughs> erosion resistance just to be able to cap your resistances like this okay so that's the helmet piece for the amulet piece physical skill level sealed mana resistances and if you can get one then plus two active skill levels. <coughs> For gloves, you want a conversion mod. The best one would be conversion physical convert physical damage to lightning damage. But I got these because I'm lazy. I, I don't want to craft my gear, so this is what I got from marketplace. Convert to any type of damage. Lightning would be the best. Fire is the second best. <coughs> uh, then you want a lot of gear energy shield and gear energy shield percentage because you scale those you scale this number from the with the imperial might so yeah a lot of energy shield then you definitely want fervor don't need a critical strike damage but if you can get it it's 20% increased damage basically because you 100% crit so, yeah so fervor, convert and energy shield mods and then whatever uh, resistances you're missing for the dreamcraft you want it to have the physical damage to attacks and spells mods mod on it definitely that one on the gloves <coughs> for the belt you want to have defense mod on the belt physical damage or elemental damage or both, you can get both. Or energy shield for more survivability and then resistance is to cap to cap out. <coughs> for boots, deflection stacks, elemental or physical damage, or both, and gear energy shield to increase the uh, implicit number on the boots. So that's gear energy shield flat, not percentage. The percentage is only good when you are able to pair, pair it with flat energy shield on the gear. You are sadly not able to do it on the boots because you want to use a damage mod here. <coughs> okay, so flat energy shield and then aura effect and movement speed. Movement speed uh, helps a lot during maps. If you don't care about mapping, you can get any other mod here. If you are just going for bosses or part of the brave, you don't need movement speed there. And then one 
or to presses then just to come out. For the rings, you want fi you want additional physical damage to spells uh, to attacks on your rings, and then resistances to cap out. I've enchanted energy shield just to get more survivability here. You can enchant whatever else you want, but definitely physical damage and cap out the resistances. That's on both the both of the rings. On this one, there's an option. To also get adds percentage of physical damage as fire, cold, and lightning, which is the same mod as is on your bow, but your bow al already gives you like 200%, so another 4% is almost nothing basically. Well, it's like 2% damage increase, <coughs> so yeah. So definitely physical damage and resistances again. And for dreamcrafts, you can dreamcraft both of your rings with 84% damage. Or if you want even crazier clear, the build has already crazy clear. You can enchant area of effect on the belt. Or dreamcraft area of effect on the belt instead of one of your damage rings. Okay, that's for the gear. Uh, survivability of the build is in millions, so that's 2.85 million here. Considering how much damage it, it has, it has around 1.5 trillion DPS, so for these numbers. Uh, talent wise, so talent points, God of Machines, Sentry and Overly Modified both are for sentry damage. Um, you want to get these two. I was putting points into this uh, second half of these two mods as last, but if you get that early it gives you a lot of like uh, quality of life because you don't have to cast your sentries as often and they clear uh, larger amounts of space since it scales sentry skill radius. So these two mods take energy shield on all your passive trees wherever you can, and that's pretty much it. You want to get sentry skill cast frequency everywhere you can get it as well. <coughs> In machinist, that's heat up sentry damage, and core resonance sentry attack speed. Again, energy shield and sentry cast speed. Don't forget that. And the important points here are also these, barrier shield and this one, which generates barrier when you cast or use sentry skill. You just need to get this to be able to generate the barrier and then the barrier starts rotating throughout our skills uh, section. But yeah, definitely need this point either here or you can, you can save these 5 points if you get this mod on your slides. And then there's sentry cast frequency and here are like five optional points if you would like to use a different hero uh, hero memory than I have, I'll show you later on, you would need to get this point here or get it on your slides to be able to summon three sentries with one cast of your uh, in areas like this, like three of them get summoned, sometimes four because you are throwing three to five bombs uh, per cast. So yeah, that's Machinist. And the last one would be Ranger. There are two other options. I will show them as well. I will not be putting like skill trees in the description of the video. I will just put this one in the skill description. But the other two options are both also great. You just, with one you get more utility and with the other one you get more tankiness but less damage yeah it's up to you what you want to do what you want to use i'm using ranger which i find to have the most damage at least for my setup so that's additional projectile damage here shooting arrows and impending here which scales your <coughs> which gives you six percent additional damage and stacks up to 5 times, so that's 30% additional damage if you stand near the monster for... Well, how much is it? For, for 1.25 seconds? Something like that. 
So that's up to 30% additional damage. Again, energy shield, some crit damage here. If you are missing critical strike chance, if you are not 100% critting on the dummy, uh, then put more points into this minor talent, like critical strike getting either this or this, are both the same. But I don't find myself struggling with an evade critical strike chance with my setup, so if you just copy, you, you are fine with only one point. <clears throat> and you'd want def you definitely want to take these sealed mana mods to be able to run all your, aur all your auras. And then these defense mods for elemental resistance and defense. Um, <clears throat> These five points give you. This gives you critical strike chance because it scales, it scales fervor, and this one gives your fervor 0.4% critical strike damage, which you have 100 fervor stacks, so that gives you 40% critical strike damage basically. So definitely want to take these. If you want more survivability and don't care about the damage much, you can take energy shield regain. It will give you a little bit more sustain, but yeah, damage is probably better than sustain. When you kill monsters faster, than they don't have as, many, as much time to like deal damage to you. And this one gives you 6% additional damage basically, because it kills monsters that are under 6% life. Okay, for the statue, of, uh, or the other two options would be <coughs> Marksman which would let you scale your projectile speed to give you more additional damage uh, and will give you would give you a little bit more defense through master escapist because it you would generate your deflection faster or it would give you 35% additional damage to monsters in proximity which is within 3 within 3 meters so for bosses where you are able to stand near to them, near to them, it, this would give you 35% more damage basically. <coughs> but what what you're losing is probably one aura, or you would get more sealed mana on your candles <coughs> because there's no sealed mana nodes in this tree. So you are basically losing. 4.5 and 9, 13.5% sealed mana. So you are using, you are definitely losing at least one aura. But yeah, this is an option here. And the other option would be uh, Steel Vanguard, which would let you basically scale your auras even more. And you can either go more aura effect. For more damage, you would have to balance your sealed mana to be able to run all, all your auras with that. But that gives you 20% additional aura effect and 55% empower skill effect. We are using two empower skills. We are able to use three empower skills, so this is great. And we are using two defensive skills or one if you choose to use three empower. <clears throat> or you can get even more tanky with poison immunity. So with Steel Vanguard you can get like comparable damage, but you can also get a lot more tanky if you are willing to lose the damage for that. <clears throat> but I've showed that in the last part or, or the last video, so check it there. <clears throat> Okay, for the statue of the god, it is just the peaceful realm setup. So you are using peaceful realm to generate orders, then you are pairing it with order mods. Sentry damage, all four of them are sentry damage. Then when spark set prayer a blaze, this pretty much doubled my damage when I bought this, so definitely worth it. The budget option would be the simple spark that copies only one of those slates. Uh, then you want one God's Footsteps with 35%, 18% additional order decrease speed and two 15% effect order decrease speed like this. And then on this slate you want 
on the corner of the infinity you want plus one all skills and one useful mod here and on fallen starlight you want additional sentry skill cast frequency or attack speed additional attack speed okay that's it this um, for the hero traits you want to get uh, additional projectile damage upon using an empower skill and either critical strike rating or attack speed or a projectile quantity and additional projectile damage or um, additional damage when bombs explode near uh, elite monster I think that it is something like that but I'm using this just to be able to cap my critical strike chance uh, easier uh, for the blast gums projectile quantity and additional projectile damage with movement speed for mapping if you are not mapping or you don't care about the movement speed you can get this mod on the blast gums as well so that would be additional da additional projectile damage and projectile quantity minus one and the uh, after using empower skill x percent additional damage so that's times two and the unique memory here would be detonation there if you would like to get rid of this and use <coughs> another blast gun then you would have to take the point here to be able to generate three sentries at, the, at a time mm, and this specifically for this detonation there you want to have it slotted into the third engram which is the third slot so you want to make sure that you are buying hero relic with the third engram open to be able to use detonation there uh, for the hero traits take all the uh, top ones which would give you 40% uh, uh, 200, 240 percent, uh, 300, uh, 420 percent additional damage basically so yeah that's why Bing is so great for leveling because he deals so much damage just through his traits that he does not need damage at all like you are able to get to level 96 or 995, 96 with no gear, with, with the gear that you drop through the campaign just through these traits because that's almost 500 you you deal almost like five times your normal damage just through the traits uh what's next show this i've showed this skills <coughs> around an rr added physical damage uh the most important link would be multifaceted guard to be able to summon three sentries in instead of just two so multifaceted guard is the most important link here the second one would be added physical damage and then it is slowed projectiles elemental impact nova shot and the last one would be critical strike damage um, for the candles you also want to support the skill as I said with as, as I said with multifaceted guard and with main skill both of them provide more damage to your skill basically so that's arrow NIR speed phantom that's the only movement skill that is also an empower skill and you want to use empower skills to be able to use the hero relic mod so empower mobility skill here yeah. the other utility that this skill provides is it's pulling monsters, monsters together when you hit them so magic dash more charges and double cooldown reduction uh, burst of anger that's an empower skill mean auto cast it through rhythm empowering it with mania and the last link which you will get after you get to level 100 because you don't have enough energy to get this link before that would be the well fought battle which just increases its effectiveness <coughs> even more uh, 
The next empower skill would be fixate, which gives you a chance to deal double damage. When you are fighting bosses, you get five stacks per cast, so that's 30% 30 percent uh, double damage chance, 31 percent double damage chance. So that pair it with overclock. What you want to make sure is you want to resummon your sentries after the fixate gets cast to have the overclock effect up. So the sentries then deal 27% additional damage. And you pair that with cooldown reduction. Because b without cooldown reduction the skill has 8, 8 second cooldown. Rhythm has 6 second cooldown. So cooldown reduction basically lets you uh, synchronize those two together. So uh, the fixate gets casted every 6 seconds through the rhythm does not have to wait for it to cool down the entire 8 seconds for it to cool down <coughs> so that's 4 seconds up time 2 seconds down time that's cycling automatically you cannot cast it manually sadly so yeah <coughs> you can cast it uh, manually if you don't use written but that's just more button pressing not necessary so yeah every 6 seconds you get this buff awesome First defensive skill, force start. Since uh, in the last video I, I was using the unique belt, <coughs> I was using Light Hunter belt, which lets you regenerate your energy shield once it starts to the full. Uh, yeah, I'm not using that anymore. So what you want to do here is to use for start with defensive layers to be able to you because for start only thing that that it does is it starts your energy shield recharge but if your energy shield recharge starts and something hits you the energy shield recharge stops so why you want to use defensive layers here is to be able to use the the effect of for start the 26% energy shield charge speed uh, for the two seconds of defensive layers duration, <coughs> defensive layers also decreases the duration of the supported skill by 30%. The duration of first start is 3 seconds. So mm, that's 30% minus puts it to 2 seconds, so those work well together. Because then this lasts two, for 2 seconds, this lasts for 2 seconds, so first start basically gives you Paired with written, every 6 seconds it gives you 2 seconds of unstoppable energy shield recharge with energy shield shield charge speed from the fourth start. If you pair all that with cooldown reduction, you can cast it every 4 seconds <coughs> when you cast it manually, but it also starts every 6 seconds automatically, so you have 2 seconds window after, after, written, after it cooldowns. And before the rhythm casts it again, you have two seconds window to cast it manually again. <coughs> so yeah, uh, this is basically your uh, how to say it restoration skill. <coughs> the second def defensive option that you are pairing all that with is auto defense with reform, which recharges your barrier. As this blue shield here, you won't have this at the start of the map you have to cast your sentries to generate the barrier and then the reform what it does is it refreshes the barrier basically okay and i'm also pairing it with defensive layers because every time a reform gets cast which is every six seconds it has six seconds cooldown you i get two seconds of defense layers here so, so two seconds unstoppable energy shield charge what you want to do at the start of the map is cast your uh, fourth start manually before it gets cast through a rhythm to put it uh, off cooldown to the six seconds because because if you don't cast it manually <coughs> it gets cast together with the reform and like 
you want to like offset the cooldowns of defense layers here to get more of the unstoppable shield charge speed. Mm, okay, for the auras, precise weapon amp, physical damage, additional attack speed, both scale your damage. Because attack speed gets scales into centric uh, speed, physical damage scales the sentry damage. <coughs> precise, precise projectiles, additional projectile damage and projectile speed. Also additional element. We are doing trauma. It's not very much, but it is something. So precise projectiles, additional damage. Elemental amp. We are we are doing almost 100% elemental damage. So elemental amplification. And the last supper skill here is summon thunder spirit. If you would be able to get a little bit more sealed mana mods, either on your candles or on your slates. Uh, the better option here would be to put energy shield fortress here to get more energy shield. I'm not able to do that. And I'm supporting the auras with standards one which gives it 7.3% aura effect. <coughs> auras on the second slot are energy shield uh, or energy fortress and electric conversion. This aura here is the reason that it would be better to have <coughs> uh, physical damage as uh, physical damage converted to f to lightning on the gloves, because that lightning damage converted from physical would then be scaled by 24.5 percent through this aura. But yeah, this is the better aura. The the the, the other aura that you could use here would be. <coughs> Uh, would be charged flames, which gives additional fire damage. But in my setup, even though I convert my physical damage to fire, this aura does not give, provide me with more damage <coughs> than the electric conversion here. So you definitely want to use an electric electric conversion, and all that is sealed on life through seal conversion. And for the acute for the imbue acuteness imbue additional physical damage. And it also is marking enemies, and marked enemies take increased critical damage. Uh, the mark is provided through fixate as well, but this basically makes it to never fall down. Because this mark from fixate is there just for 4 seconds, this one never stops. <coughs> for the candles, for my pin, feel free to feel free to just use soul eating candles and if you are hunting damage numbers then plus two physical level and main skill and plus two physical level level and multifaceted guard which opens you the slot for critical strike damage here okay uh, for the packed spirits I mean I'm using what I have access to which is uh, attack damage, attack crit and attack speed here attack crit, attack speed for the blue one again uh, that's double damage, attack damage and multi strike I'm not using the multi strike because multi strike does not work with sentries so that's chance to deal double damage, attack damage and you can switch those here like this and for the last one, I was lucky enough to get Fox, Fox Scorpion, but if you are you are not that lucky, just use like another attack damage, crit strike, attack speed here. Or you can use projectile mods or even elemental mods. So that's more, fr from the Fox Scorpion you get more chance to do double damage, you get attack damage, and he gives you multi strike, which I'm not using. And in the last mod, it gives you additional attack speed or additional movement speed, depending on the situation. So that's the packed spirit. For damage. For drops, you just use drops pack spirits. For leveling, after level 95 or 96, you want to be using <coughs> the XP balance ones. 
If you don't have Anthem, just use XP gain instead. You will get around one fret slower, but it is still manageable, so XP balance. XP balance here. Okay. And that should be it. During the leveling from 99 to 100, it's around 4 maps per 1% and during that I was able to farm another 6000 FEs. So all the upgrades that you see here from the last video, I used the 6000 FEs to get them, basically bought the two candles. Yeah. So yeah, this belt should be fully, fully operational in the even the next season or the seasons after because it does not use anything special. <coughs> like it does not use Enamor, which is the new season belt. So yeah, I believe that this should be operational even next season. So yeah, we'll see. I won't be playing this again because it's not autobomber, I like autobombers the most, so... For the next season that would be... Uh, Iris, I believe. Okay, so... That's it for this video, thank you guys for watching. Well, I will see you in the next season on the Iris. Bye.